hello guys um how are you today thanks for subscribing to my channel and also thanks for the questions yeah, you know it has actually prompted me to do a second video so today i'll be showing you how to thread the machine and also how to um spool the your thread in the bobbin and also i'll be showing you the different kind of stitches that we can find and another thing is i would i've loved to show you how to use the button button hole stitch but you know the video will be too long so i'll be uploading that another day and if you have any other questions aside what i'm showing you today you can just leave your responses so that i'll check and then i'll do another video on whatever it is you guys want so let's get to it so the first thing is um how to spool your thread in the bobbin because you actually need this for for this part okay so what i'll do is so instead of you to do it manually you know some people actually like to do it manually and then they just roll the thread by themselves they wind it you know you can actually use this machine to do it so what you have to do is this this is the spool pin so you put your thread ensure that you pull the thread the thread is actually facing you because it has to be clockwise you know so you pull the thread towards you this way and then you put the um thread in here in the spool pin here so this is the spool pin cover and then you cover it this way this is just to sorry you cover it um, this way so this is just to hold the the thread in place you see i'm actually pulling this toward myself i'm using a colorful thread so that you guys can see it well so what you do is this pulling it towards you you go this way you go this way sorry you go this way you put it here inside there is actually like a tension here because if you pull it it becomes stronger kind of you see you see how i'm doing it it has to come this way yeah this way and then the bobbin you put the thread you see if you check the bobbin you see a hole so you put the thread inside the hole that is there i i hope you can see where you see you put the thread here you pull here, this at this end and then you put it here in the spindle you see after putting it then you push this towards here towards this to it's it's like um, a spindle blocker kind of you push it towards this and then you hold the thread so i'm connecting the machine to the power source which is this i'm going to get so the machine is on now now i can wind my bobbin sorry about that but this is actually enough for what i want to do anyway so to remove this you have to push this to the left and then you remove the bobbin so that is it there's a thread cutter here that you can use to cut the thread you see this side there's a thread cutter here okay so we are done with threading the Okay, so the next thing I want to do now is actually to thread the machine. Most we can use this side, but you know, most times I actually like to use this because it's easy to just put it put it on and then you thread the machine. So the harrow is actually there. So you go this way, you put the thread under here, under here, and then you move this way. You just follow the arrow move this way put the thread inside here ensure it's inside you see ensure it's inside then you come down you see this arrow then you go up this way then the you turn the you turn your um, handle so you actually turn this until this comes up which is the thread take up lever until it comes up and then you put it inside this lever you put it inside the thread take up lever and then you come down again 
you see there is actually one metal here just under the it's hold yeah you see this here it's actually holding the the needle kind of so you put it inside you see if i didn't put it inside this is how it will be so in order to hold it you put it inside this the metal and then you're ready to to thread your needle So you ensure the needle is up and then you thread the needle. So yeah, about that is actually taking some time. Okay, oh wow. okay so this is the first thing so the other thing is we have to put this thread inside inside the the bobbin case so you remove this i'm sure you know how to remove this you just pull this it, it serves as um, an accessory box and also as a table again so you remove this you push it down and then to the left you remove it open this bring out the bobbin case okay let me show you how i did it you see this this lever here so you pull it and then it releases the bobbin case so I actually have this let me remove it so threading the putting this inside the bobbin case you have to ensure that you're holding holding the bobbin like this you see the thread is actually pulling clockwise pulling to your right you see so you put it inside the bobbin case this way and then you see it's still pulling to your right you have to ensure you do it this way because if not um, by the time you're sewing the stitches will, will, won't be fine at all so it's actually pulling clockwise so you put it do you see the this opening here so you move it this way and then you push it under you actually push it under that opening under this part do you hear that click sound i hope you heard it let me do it once again okay see it's clockwise i'm pulling the thread clockwise so you take it backwards to to this opening this slight opening here you take it backwards and then you push the thread under under this metal you put push it under it did you hear that sound so that is it and then you hold this this lever hold it and put it inside if you look underneath here you see this hole you ensure that this is actually inside this hole here i actually don't know what it is called but then Sorry about that. Okay. You have to push this. And then show it. Did you hear that click sound? That is what tells you that this has been the bobbin case has been installed perfectly. Okay, so we can just put the thread inside, or you can cut it, make it shorter. Then you close this. And then you push um put your accessories box back. So one other thing you do is that you use the handle to wind to you do it manually actually in order to take up the thread inside the bobbin case okay if you do it at first and doesn't it doesn't come up just with the second time see this is it now yeah so you see i've i've, I've actually brought the thread up so i can use the thread cutter here to cut to shorten my thread so I can push this, the um, top thread underneath here, underneath the foot. You see this opening at the foot? I can push the thread underneath it. So I'm ready to sew. So that's, that's it's just as simple as that. If you have any other questions, you can let me know. So I would also like to show you some of the stitches that we have. I have a piece of cloth here. So the, this is the handle. 
you can use it manually just in case you want to do about five stitches or uh, or you can use the pedal you can use the pedal instead of doing it manually and then this is the stitch selector you see this here the um the stitch display this is hey so that means it's a straight stitch is a the b is also a, a straight stitch but it's tilted to the right so if i should move if i should turn this to b my needle would move slightly you see that means the stitch will be tilted to the right but this if it is in here it will just be in the middle and ensure that by the time anytime you're actually turning the stitch selector your needle is up so that you don't break your needle ensure that your needle is up you see my needle is actually up so this this let's let's go one by one let me show you the stretch Stre um sorry the straight stitch first so my foot is up but then i'll take it down i'm taking it i actually lift the foot with this this is at the back here with this here with this lever so you can raise the foot up with this and you can bring it down do you see when you raise it up you can remove the fabric that is underneath when you bring it down then you can sew okay so for the stretch stitch this is in here then one other thing is that this is used to control the stitch length so if i put it in one or probably 0 0.5 the stitch length um, reduces so let's sew and let me show you so now i'm pressing the pedal so if you look at this now you see the stitch length is very 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 tiny it's almost invisible i don't know if you can see it well it's almost invisible but if i should turn this to four which is the highest stitch length that we have on this machine the stitch length would, would actually be very very wide you see it's, it's even moving very quickly you see do you see the difference you see this stitch, this stitch length and this very very tiny ones here so it actually depends on what you want to do if you want to do a gather stitch for example and you don't have a gather's foot you can just use the longest stitch length we have on this machine which is four you you, you sew it and then you pull it at both hands it gives you a gather stitch so one other thing i want to show you is um the zigzag stitch which is c i would i say you ensure that your needle is up before you change the the stitch um stitch pattern so let's change it to c which is the zigzag foot some people actually use this foot to as an alternative to to overlock the clothes you know not everyone can afford an overlocker or a serger so you can use the um zigzag foot um zigzag stitch rather to actually overlock your clothes you know to secure the hedges not necessarily overlock but to secure the hedges so let's go so always ensure that well for me um i always ensure that the minimum high maximum stitch length that i have when i'm using a zigzag is one because i want the stitch to be very close okay so you see if i do this on the raw edge of the clothes it's actually going to secure the edge of the clothes do you understand me now one other thing i would like to show you is to move to these stitches here if you want to move to these stitches here you have to change this your stitch length you have to move it um turn it anti-clockwise yeah so you get to s1 you get so it was here before which is the stitch length and hold but to get to this um to be able to use this stitches you have to turn it to s1 first so you are turning this stitch selector anti-clockwise which is to the left in order to get the stitches so so which let me do stitch a stitch 
HA under S1, which is this. So I've moved from here to this side. Okay, so we are doing the the it's a stretch stitch actually, but it's gonna be in three places. Okay, so let's go. It's almost invisible, but you can actually see that this stitch is actually more than one. It's not like this, you see, but this is in three places, one, two, three. Do you understand now? Okay, so that is about that for this machine. If you have any other questions, you can just let me know, so I'll do another video. Thank you very much, and please subscribe to my channel. Um, like I said, if you have any other questions regarding sewing or maybe about the machine, I would upload. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.